Well, hi everyone, Russell here again. Um, so today I uh, installed the AEM AFR gauge or air fuel ratio gauge and uh, I'll, I'll show you how to do that. Um, but first off, it's not something that you really need to do. It's not necessary, um, especially if you're just running um, your, your Talon factory without the turbo kit. It's not even necessary if you do have the turbo kit. Um, I'm, I just elected to install it for a little extra monitoring. Um, I do uh, run mostly between six and 13,000 feet elevation, which uh, sometimes when you go to higher elevation with forced induction, um, I mean, you're going to lose some power, but uh, typically you'll run at a richer rate. And uh, when you're running a little rich, your fuel consumption really goes up. And uh, so um, I just did this uh, for a little extra monitoring. It's not necessary. So I'll kind of show you how I put this in. Fairly simple process. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. So we got a 7 8 hole drilled uh, to put that in and weld it in. So it's going to go like that and it has to be a 10 to 20 degree angle pointing downwards so the condensation will drive out of the O2 or will drain out of the O2 sensor. All right, so we got it in there. Weld it all the way around. All right, so here's the the sensor right there. Um, got that, that bung all welded in. Um, ran the wires up along the frame. Let's see. Um, back in through there. Um, took out the center console. And I'll show you up there. All right, so in here, I just kind of zip tied it up. Continued zip tying it up. Um, ran it up through the bottom. So basically for here, just took a 52 millimeter um, hole saw and uh, drilled that out. I did have to drill out a little bit of plastic behind it. Um, the only wires you have to hook up are the positive and the negative, uh, which I just used the um, supplied um, power supplies here uh, that came with the switch plate. For that, um, I did put an uh, inline fuse into here, a 5 amp inline fuse for that and uh, put it in there. I kind of like having it there. I mean, it does cover up the Honda a little bit, but that's okay. Um, and then just rerouted the, the voltmeter down to there. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's how I did it. Just um, the wire from the O2 sensor plugs into the back. Uh, the power supply uh, for um, for this also plugs into the back and pretty easy process so um, I took the voltmeter out and uh, I relocated the voltmeter down here into the middle so you know of course I just had to take off this red piece of plastic um, which was a bolt there push rivet push rivet and a bolt on the bottom on each side cut out this uh, plastic and then cut out a little bit behind it for the wires and then just kind of routed the wires from up here down to there so uh, the voltmeter is working just fine down there 